Let's see, Rob. Coyote first saw after 15 minutes or so. The doe and two fawns. Didn't even go to the bait. They were just hanging out. Came right from your left? Came from the left. You could hear them pretty good. Crunching. So they came from the south? You were excited. The left. Yep. The... I know, but they were walking from the south to the north? Yeah. Or... Yeah, south and north, yeah, because they turned, they, they were probably the 30 rip. yards, huh? They went across the rip. Yeah, they were probably 30 yards from the bait and then didn't even touch it. And 20 minutes after that, a coyote came. Should have toasted them. I text you guys. We texted right back. I didn't know if we're preserving yolks. Why would we do that? I don't know. This is my first time up here. I'm a rookie. Oh. I don't know the rules. Where do you guys sit? Across the room. Yeah, it was fun. Nice spot. Go check that out. It's a great two-man tree stand. Yeah. Real comfortable. Where do we put them handles, Josh? Now we just put them right there on, on top of the window. That's a good spot. A little cedar cover all up in there. Yeah, that's good. Just take the battery out, unclip it. Those guys didn't even hunt this spot, did they? Nope, they didn't know it existed. Uh-uh, nope, it's breaking. What? They got to bust that lid. Is the timer still, still on? Nope. Hit a, hit a button. Nope. Oh, that's dead. Man, I can smell that golden estrus. I can't. You can't smell it? COVID. Oh, your breakfast drink. It's good. It's good. Eat the blind. Where's the other? Did you guys do two feeders up here? Yeah, it's across the road. Oh, okay. Thanks to our sponsors. Evolved Habitats. You stop her? You gotta come and get sponsors. Step on the truck. And turn that on. So this is the wolf stand. We just were checking out the feeder. It's empty as well. So I guess it just was putting out corn at a higher rate than we thought. It's a nice stand, it's a good area. You can see really far in the winter, so you can't, I mean, I know you can't really tell right now, but you can see really far. There's not a lot of shots in here, but you can at least see if you're moving through or whatnot. Enough here in a good area. But a lot of wolf tracks in here. That's why we call it the wolf. So we're at camp, and uh, me and my brother just sat across the road on a in a stand we call the uh, food plot because we planted a food plot there this summer. Didn't really turn out the way we wanted, but it, it's at least a learning experience. We know what to do for next year, and we did a lot more research, and we're gonna ma really make it good next year, and we're gonna make a lot more food plot. We're actually gonna do food plots here in the woods a lot, and we're gonna pretty much do it everywhere we can. Me and my brother sat across the road at the food plot. Gary sat at the China Hutch. Ryan sat in one that we were just at called the Wolf. And then Robbie sat at a old stand called Ernie's. And it's named Ernie because he was one of the original guys that used to come to camp and he, uh, that was his stand. Robbie was the only one that saw deer so far. Uh, we don't know what Gary's seen. He hasn't, he hasn't came in yet. But uh, I'll be heading out. I'm gonna go for a walk here in a little bit and try to find some deer sign and then sit on a deer sign. It's hard because mostly out here they just they just move. They just keep moving. They're constantly on the go. I think the wolves and the coyotes keep them moving and then they uh, find food and survive somehow. Is Adam calling you?
Okay, I was gonna say that. Look at that corn stalk, dude. Yeah. Holy crap. There's a bunch of corn stalks in here. But they grew up from the feeder. Yeah. Not from us. This would hold that stink a little better. Well, I already poured some on it, but. Oh, fuck, that big stinks. Yeah. Wow. You don't like that smell? Yeah, look at that big old butt. I think that's all we need. Thanks for our sponsor. <laughs> wow, that stinks. Truly. Appreciate it. I, I played that game one time up here, all right? Steve and I sat together. Steve, you shoot first. Yep, whatever it is. You know what happened? You shot. No. You got stuck on the chair. I didn't shoot. When I seen the buck and I could have just shot it, he was trying to get his butt moved. His, oh the, the, the cushion was, <laughs> oh, the cushion was froze to his ass. I mean, he was, he was fumbling around. The buck ran away. And it was probably the biggest one he has ever seen. Good shot. Prince. Look at it back there. A little girl floated in there earlier though. Huh? I watched this little girl float in there when we were walking out. Black eyes. Yeah. 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 Look at them bunk beds in there. Go in there, it's sweet. No, I ain't going there. You didn't go in there, I ain't going in there. You wanna go in there? I'll yeah. go in there with you. Yeah. He's a groupie. Sure. Is that a full can? Seven. Like, grab that, grab that can right there. It's not open. No, down, down. She oh. empty. Coca Cola. Dude, American, American pickers would have a heyday in there. Oh, did they used to hunt with the guys across the street? Kind of with them, but like they'd be up here at the same, same time. time. Yeah. They knew each other. They were fine with each other. They haven't came in 30 years. It's been a while. Yeah. And last time they came, they set up a tent. We're gonna have to all do a workout. Any workout process? Old grub. See, those guys would be mad at you already because you got pine needles in it. It's all no, it's only for dishes, so it's fine. What a waste. Clear it is though. Isn't that crazy. <laughs> Where's their funnel at? I think someone's got to say it. I think it's said every year, but we should get this water tested, right? Yeah. So every yeah, year we should get this water tested. We really should get this water tested. What? It's got to be like a 24 hour sample? It's got to be quick. Right. It'll be like the last day. It has to be in a special container. Like a BPA free? I don't know what it is. Yeah, it's just a uh, non Yeah. Sealed container. Glass jar. Pretty plastic. I think we should just buy a, a laboratory, bring it up here, you know, back it in here, and just do it all right here I by agree. yourself. Like it's the cheapest way. It's gonna be like it's full of deer urine, <laughs> coyote urine. Dick head back here. This is crystal clear spring water. UP made. COVID free. Is that a mist? Gotta be when that rain came through. Huh. Did you send Steve a picture? No one. He said, hard to shoot anything when you're all standing around drinking beer. <laughs> <laughs> 
you guys get oh, back goes. in here? Eleven thirty or so? I got out of the stand at eleven. Yeah. About to have a bowl of chili and head back out. So you've been up here for a bit. Thank you. Did you stir that? I've been stirring it. <sighs> Mountain time. Mountain time. UP time. I think it needs to. I'm gonna talk UP is gonna be on his own time. Room. He's always Easter. So I'm headed out. I'm running late because I've been. I messed up and erased the files from this morning's hunt and my drive-in yesterday. So there's like no intro. I'm just here on my second hunt now. So whatever it is, what it is. I am going for a walk. I'm going to take my trusty 3030. That's what I. The last time I shot a deer was with that gun. Uh, last time I shot a deer here at deer camp was with that gun. I am going to go for a walk. I'm going to go kind of far. I'm going to go as far as I can get in the short amount of time that I have. So I got my climbing sticks, my Badlands backpack, my cameras, this fanny pack, and I got water and that's pretty much it. So I'm not taking a whole lot with me. I got my camera arm obviously and I'm going to try to get up in a tree. Not real high. I might even just do one or two sticks. Just I just want to get up a little bit higher than the cover. But I have an idea where I'm going and I'm hoping that it looks like what I imagine it looks like. About a mile from camp. They're going to be logging this soon if you see all the orange. Well, there's a bunch of orange marks all over the trees. And they're logging pretty close to camp. But I'm going to keep going. I'm trying to get to a creek that's at the end of this property. It's a, uh, this is a logging property owned by a logging company. So I'm trying to get to a creek and hopefully see some more action there. But at the same time, the closer I get there, the more opportunity I have to see other hunters because it's in a more accessible area, but it's just far from our camp. But it is what, Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday. So hopefully nobody's out here. We'll see. I'm halfway to the creek. I'm trying to get there. It's been about a half hour and Luckily, they came through with this bulldozer the last couple days and bulldozed this, so it makes it very easy for me to walk. But not a lot of sign, honestly. I'm kind of disappointed. I haven't seen a lot of tracks of anything. No wolf tracks, no coyote tracks, no deer tracks, anything. And, I mean, this snow's washing away. It's melting and washing everything away, but I was hoping maybe I'd see something fresh, but nothing so far. Looks like I'm wearing a beret but it's just, my hat is pulled up because I'm hot. Um, so I got past the woods. I just came to this big, well, it's a big drop-off point. I was about to head down. I think it's gonna go towards the river and towards the swamp. Um, I don't have any signal here. So, no matter if I shoot one or not, I'm gonna have to walk all the way back to get the help and every, get the entourage. But uh, I'm gonna keep going, keep heading down. Hopefully I don't get eaten by something. We'll see. I guess we won't see. Anyway, I'm gonna keep walking. I still don't see any orange other than the orange that's on the trees. So I think I'm safe from hunters. Just don't wanna intrude on somebody's space. I'm gonna keep moving in. This is not the creek I was trying to get to. This is the creek that I thought was a road that would get me to the creek I'm trying to get to. It's actually, I think it's considered a river, but it's pretty narrow, but it's bigger than this. It's probably, it's probably as big as this road, but um, I don't know why I like this, but I just still haven't seen any sign. So I'm gonna walk to the top of the hill there, out of focus, and then I'm going to If I don't see anything that I really want to look at up there, I'm going to come back down and walk up along this creek bed 
and see if there's just any kind of sign that says there's a buck in here and he's in there normally. We'll see, I guess. It's a lot of land to be sticking to one area and I don't think they do that here. I think they move a lot. But you'd think that they would walk through these creek bottom transitions and try to stay safe from wolves and me and anybody else. So keep trying. Here we are. Day one. Well, it's day two. <laughs> day two, you be deer camp. Josh makes movies. Satellite crew over here on the food plot. Josh is out uh, on a walk. We got Rob and I back here in the food plot. Sitting the first night on second night on. We are hoping to get a buck down. We're gonna have temperature warm up today up to 51. Very rare normally up here for us. There's a little light sprinkle right now, but I think the snow is gonna stay. It's supposed to get down to 30 tonight, not get above the 34 tomorrow, then get down into the, around 20 tomorrow night. So it seems like uh, these deer should be moving. There was a buck grunting. That was me coming out to the stand to sit with Robbie, film him shoot his first UP deer. We got a nice $30 ham in the oven, wood stove oven, can heat it up. We got ham and yams and red cabbage tonight with uh, chestnuts for appetizer, some other hors d'oeuvres, and uh, Looking forward to biscuits and gravy in the morning. And then nobody will be able to sit past 8. Because they'll have to take crap. I hope this microphone's on. Because I'm talking a lot. But this is Josh's camera and I'm not sure if I'm using it right. It's a great spot to sit. Quiet. They were logging this morning. Now they're not logging so it's kind of nice. So I'd like to... Uh, I'm glad I kept walking because I found this little spot here and or I could hear this. I got up to the top of the hill and I could hear this water running. And I thought I was I was like, oh maybe the creek's closer than I thought. But it's just, you know, it's a smaller creek creek again, but it's fast moving water. But then I get down to here and there's a huge clearing behind me. So I'm gonna go over there, make sure I don't see any orange. And I might just set up in a tree and hopefully something crosses close to me. 4.30. Nanu, nanu, nanu. <laughs> We're looking for a deer. We can't find him. The hardest part right now is deciding where to sit. I haven't, I, mean, I still haven't been seeing tracks. But you got this cedar swamp right down here in front of you. There's a pinch point right here. There's a pinch point to the right of me. Now, the pinch point to the right of me has been logged probably last year. So there's a lot of logs. It's not easy for them to walk through. But the pinch point to the left of me, or right in front of me, I guess. seems to be easy access so I think I'm going to walk down the trail more like I'll probably find something else that I really like but I'm going to go up and then walk up this hill over here so I'm going to walk 
and walk down this trail here and then walk up this hill and then there's a pinch point right here oh, let's see there it's a pinch point right there on this backside I don't know if it's been logged or not man it is pretty out here it's really quiet